Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am fresh out of a haircut, if you can't tell. New year, new me. I thought because it's just like such a beautiful day outside that I would go out to a couple thrift shops and see what's going on out there. I had a little luck in Oceanside last year in like November when I did my holiday video. So I thought I would go back there and check out some of the places that I've had on my list. I think there's like a, an estate sale place and like a mid-century modern warehouse and another thrift store, like a big giant one. So I wanna go check those out and I thought I would bring y'all with me and we would just see what's out there. And by the way, if you haven't seen my other thrift with me videos, I'll put a playlist card or link somewhere here so you can go check those out. Alrighty, I'll see you at the first place. Place. This is an epic video. I didn't realize how large these three stores were. I thought I was going to casually just check out three places that were next to each other in Oceanside, and I did, but I was there for a really long time because these places were gigantic. I have a lot to show you, so make sure you stick around toward the end of the video. I'm gonna go through my haul, and there's a few things that I actually don't show in the video here that I will show at the end because I just had to save time on the video edit. So I hope you really enjoy this, and let's get into it. Alrighty, first thing, I really love this rug. I just wish it was bigger. And secondly, I really just wanted to show you like the vibe of the store and give you an idea of what they are looking for when they buy from Estates. These brown wooden lizards or Komodo dragons are literally all over the store. You'll see them everywhere. And I actually found out what they are and how much they're worth. So stay tuned for that later in the video. This little garage warehouse they had on the back gave me a lot of inspiration. Because nothing is staged in here, it makes it exciting to look for something new. There was a lot of resellable items in here and I'm gonna note those throughout this store. I absolutely love this frame. It was so beautiful, but it was $65 and I didn't even want the art in it, so I decided to pass. If you know me, you know I love lamp and I absolutely love lamp shades because I find really cool bases all over town. Also really love ashtrays for some reason. The old 70s and 60s ones are very cool and they're good catch-alls for things like jewelry. I love Royal Hager vases. I think that they're so minimal and chic. If I ever see one, I always pick it up. I actually ended up taking this lampshade. I really loved this handmade ceramic pitcher, but because of the hole, I decided to pass on it because you could only ever display it in one way. So it's not really functional. If anyone knows about this Komodo dragon, please let me know in the comments below. I was tempted to get this Ikea unit and just spray paint it like a matte yellow and then spray paint the knobs a gold or brassy color. But right now I don't have a use for that unit. However, I could really see myself using this wood unit to the right. It was very easy to use and it could be really great storage. I always like to look through the ribbon boxes to use for gift wrapping in the future. Craft stores usually sell ribbon for a lot of money, so to get an entire brand new roll for like $2 is totally worth it.
Okay, I am obsessed with this Scandinavian tea set. I'm not really sure what it is, and I love that like eye-looking graphic. I have looked everywhere for these online. I don't know where they're from, who makes them, what year they're from, but for them to be $14 each just for a mug makes me think that the people who own this store have a better idea about what they're worth. I don't need this, but this is a great example of something I would purchase for resale if there was anybody out there who would be interested in stuff like this. So I was scanning the shelves and I saw these copper pots, but I thought I could go back and get them later. However, I missed them because somebody else grabbed them before me. I'm very sad. Another thing to know about me is I absolutely love wood bowls, teak bowls, myrtle wood bowls. I actually ended up picking up this Oregon bowl and I totally forgot to get these salad bowls. found a lot of art that I like at thrift stores or vintage shops. I do end up liking the frames a lot more, so I might end up just making my own art. I don't know what it was, but I was kind of obsessed with this like whole dance dishware set. Mushrooms are so popular right now. I think this table right here with the triangle base was something. I didn't really look into it, but it looked really cool. I really liked these acrylic bar stools because they have a really interesting shape and I think I could just take off the pink cushion and reupholster it or add a new one. Alrighty, that was a really great option. I love that place, definitely going back. Love all the stuff that they had. Would love to actually buy some of the things that maybe I didn't need right now, or that maybe weren't exactly my style, but they were like still really valuable and affordable. So if you're interested in like me picking up some stuff and like throwing it on my website and you can purchase it, let me know in the comments because I would love to do that. I love to go shopping. And you know, if you like myself, you kind of like what I'm gravitating toward, maybe you're interested. I don't know, just an idea. But anyways, I'm gonna head over now to the the uh, mid-century modern antique mall or indoor flea market or whatever the heck it is. So I'll see you there. So this store was really interesting. It was predominantly mid-century modern sellers who had different booths and a lot of the items were in mint condition. So the price point was much, much higher. This is definitely the place to come if you're looking for that statement piece or you're really just looking for something in particular versus going to the estate sale warehouse where you can find really great stuff that is mid-century that's mainly in good condition, but it might not be a full set or it might be ripped or it needs work, something like that. Thank you. 
At this place, you're gonna find a lot more substantial furniture, pieces that are in really good condition and definitely worth the price. I'm still on the hunt for some decor pieces. I really gravitate toward kitchen items, lighting, or couches, or dressers, but I'm still seeking some more pieces that are decorative that I can put on my bookcase or my fireplace mantle, that kind of thing. I really love this light. It's so minimal and beautiful. It's like super chic. Firstly, I love this kind of flooring. I've always wanted this in a home of mine. And I love this dresser. It's really beautiful and it's almost in perfect condition. And for the price, it's honestly a really good deal. It's kind of like the same price as going to living spaces, but you're getting a really unique piece that you can keep as a legacy piece. absolutely love this. I wish I could take it home. Okay, can you even imagine having this chandelier of candles like in the corner of your house or something? I would feel super scared of how dangerous it is, but it's so dramatic. I love it. I really love a good quality wood piece. I'm still looking for pieces that are not wood. I do collect a lot of it as it's a nice grounding piece and adds a lot of warmth to a space. However, I'm really seeking out some more textures and colors to give a room that more eclectic vibe. I actually regret not getting this because I was just saying I was looking for decor pieces and this is the perfect piece and I don't know why I didn't get it, but I really like it and it's definitely within the style that I'm looking for. Definitely check out the baskets that hold things at thrift stores because usually those are really cool and this one has a really pretty design on top. I really love these frames and actually some of the art in here was really nice, but again, the price point was so high, I just couldn't justify purchasing it. At this point, I think I'm more likely to make my own art or print my own photography or continue to look at garage sales and things like that. Alrighty, so that place was pretty cool, but it was a little bit overpriced in my opinion. I'm gonna walk back over here because it's kind of loud, but yeah, I feel like you could find that furniture for a better deal somewhere else. Those people were definitely trying to resell and make a profit, which totally fine, but 
I am not in the position to be spending that kind of money on stuff. So I love it for inspiration and I love it for what it is, but I don't think that I'll be purchasing anything there anytime soon. So I wanna go check out the other massive thrift store, the one that's the veteran thrift store, I think it is, and uh, see what they have. So let's go check it out. So again, this store was really big and I'm not gonna take you through all of it, but I just wanted to show you a couple of the highlights and give you the essence of what is in here. My personal mission here was to try to find something special. There's a few things that I'll show you in my haul that were really great finds for what the price was. This couch was only $10 less than the one at the estate sale warehouse, which was also a two-seater couch. So it's good to know that the prices aren't massively different from one discount place to the next. All of the furniture here was very affordable. I tried searching for this bowl online and it's by a company called Enrico. I saw that it was maybe on Walmart for $77, but then when I clicked on the page, it disappeared. I just really like it. I don't know anything about it. It's very cool. It's so funny, I keep finding these circular frames at different thrift stores and I'm like so stuck on what to use them for because they seem like the perfect item to do a DIY project with and I just can't think of anything. So let me know if you have any ideas in the comments below. So I found a couple things. Uh, I really liked that store. It was pretty big and uh, they were unpacking a lot of stuff and doing like sorting in this like big area. So I wonder if they just do that all day, but I don't know. I feel like there should be more for like how big that place was. I did find a couple dressers that I probably would want to try flipping, but I don't know. I just did a dresser video and maybe I need to take a beat from the dressers, but uh, it is a really fun, challenging project to do. So anyways, I got a few things. I'll show you what I got in my haul when I get back home. I am back home and I am ready to do a haul with y'all. So I'm going to go through the estate sale warehouse place first. I found these really cute mushroom tins. They're by a company called Westbound and they are worth like 45 bucks and they're vintage from the 70s. I just had to grab them and they were only 18 bucks for the set of three. So I thought it was a good deal. The next thing I found is kind of random. It's this tray. It kind of seems like it's made out of the wood from like office furniture. I wasn't sure if I could like stain this a different color or 
I don't think I would paint it. I like the wood aspect of it and I could use this for like possibly my jewelry. Like maybe I could flip it and put in some velvet in here. I don't know. I need to think about it, but I really liked this and I was gravitating towards it. And honestly, I think it was like two bucks. So that was a great deal. Alrighty, so if you've seen my other videos, you know that I love lamp and I found another amazing lamp shade. It's really pretty and it's in really nice shape. It's not bent, it's not stained. And I think this is just like a really classic shape that you can use in pretty much any decor. And then the lamp that I got that I might use the shade for is this really interesting like amber colored glass bulb. It looks like someone actually DIY'd this because you can, or maybe it was sold this way, but you can take this out and this could be just like its own thing, which I think is so pretty. Otherwise it would look like that. And I think it would look just like really, it's so interesting. I love it. It makes me happy, it brings me joy. The next thing I found was a set of three little bowls. These were very cheap. There was $6 for three of them. Love these. So I found a couple of these. I have zero idea what these are. They look like placemats to be honest. I thought these could be an interesting DIY project. I love these little like wood buttons. I don't know what I would use them for at the moment. I mean, technically this could be like a little bath mat. I don't know. I, I need to play around with my ideas, but I'm really attracted to this and I thought it was really cool. It's really heavy, so it's kind of interesting. And I think I have three of them. I usually buy things if it's like a set, but I also buy things if I think it's really interesting and I could use it somehow in the future. And a lot of the times when you tour thrift stores in the same area, you'll find like one glass here and then one glass randomly over here like four months later. And so if I really like something, I will grab it because it is likely that I'll find another one. I don't know why that is. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Surprisingly, I found another bowl. This is a Myrtle Wood Bowl from Oregon. It's the House of Myrtle Wood, Coos Bay, Oregon. And this was $15, so it's a little bit more of a splurge in terms of like thrift shopping. However, for what it is, I think it's very beautiful. It's got an awesome shape to it. It's super bulbous. It's very thick and heavy. It's in really good condition, and I just wanna clean it up and use it. So I found another wood bowl, and I really love these. I only pick them up if they're really like unique. And I thought this one just had like a really beautiful shape to it. And I can definitely use this in the house somewhere. So the next thing I found were a bunch of frames. These were 40% off. Some of them were even 50% off. And this one actually is really interesting. It's quite, <laughs> should I do like another thumbnail like this? This is so fun. This one actually has a glass in it. I just put it on the ground because it fell out. And then here's the other one. This is basically the same size. It's just a different colored wood. It's like a little bit more of that cherry wood. Here's the third one that I found, the fourth one. This one's a little bit smaller. I think this is like an eight and a half by 11. And it's got like a really pretty gold trim on it. I just really liked the color and it feels super vintage. I feel like my grandma had stuff like this in her hallway and I'm not sure what I'll use it for, but I love having extra frames around. This is the last one that I got at the estate sale place. This one's got like this like cool graduated edge to it. And this one feels like it's in very good condition. So the next thing I got was this vase. It is by Royal Hager. It's definitely vintage and I thought it was just really pretty it's just got like a really nice shape to it and i like the color palette it feels very like neutral and mid-century okay so as you know i didn't buy anything at the mid-century modern warehouse or antique mall or whatever it was everything was really expensive and even though i love some of the stuff i just couldn't justify paying like for example six dollars for one knob when i have found knobs at garage sales or on old dressers for like way cheaper i know that six dollars for a knob is and especially a vintage knob is like pretty standard however it's just not something I'm gonna invest in right now. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the Veterans Thrift Store. This place was really big and I feel like they had a lot of stuff, but it almost felt like there could have been more and like maybe it was a little bit wiped out. I don't know if it's like fuller, like on the weekends or in the morning, but I'm definitely gonna go back and check it out because I kind of had like iffy vibes on it. But I did find a few things that I really liked. Some more wood frames as per usual. So I found this little baby one. And then I liked this frame. I'm not so like interested in the matting, but I love the shape. And it would look really nice on like a small wall or somewhere where it just really feels like it belongs and make a piece of art for it. Okay, so this next thing I would probably never buy, but it looked like it was in pretty good condition and I could use it for like a future makeover that I'm planning at the moment, especially because the room that I'm focusing on is really dark. So I got a fake plant. It is very cute. I think it kind of actually looks realistic. I could also paint this or stain it 
It's made out of real wood. So I usually only pick up stuff like this if it really feels realistic and there's something I could do with the pot. Honestly, this was a dollar. So I was like, sure, why not? So as I've mentioned in the past, I actually don't see myself as a basket person, but like ever since I said that, all I do is find baskets that are interesting. So I found this one and I thought this was really pretty and it was in really good condition. And I could definitely use this as like a Thanksgiving table centerpiece and you could put all kinds of stuff in there, food with like a napkin or you could put flowers or greenery so I really like this basket a lot it has a lot of potential and then I found this one and I'm not really sure what I would use it for but it could be something where if it's like a party and you want to put like bar items in here and then the last basket that I found is like really pretty one actually I could use this as either a trash can or I could use it as a plant holder like a plant pot and just put the pot in here and see it would be kind of cute <laughs> so yeah I really love this tone of wood and I'm still trying to suss out what my like coastal mid-century modern vibe is. So that's one reason why I'm going out into a lot of thrift stores is because I'm really trying to figure out what my style is and trying to figure out what coastal mid-century modern is. I have a really great Pinterest board, but everything on there is very expensive. And so I'm trying to see how I can create that vibe myself. Alrighty, so my last item is this really big mirror. I really loved the beveled edge on the mirror and the wood around it. I felt like it was something that I could work with in the future. I'm not sure if and where I need it, but when I find a mirror that I'm attracted to, I usually just pick it up. I found a really cool one that's super narrow when I did a road trip late last year, and I was like, I don't know where I'm going to put this. And then we got back home and I realized that there was like the perfect space in between our front door and our closet. So I always know that if I feel attracted to something, I can use it somewhere, somehow, but yeah, so that is my haul. I really enjoyed going out today. I had a great time checking out brand new places and I'm going to revisit the estate sale warehouse. I definitely know I'm gonna find something in the future. So if you wanna see more of my thrift with me videos, I have a playlist on my channel or you can click the link below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in purchasing some of the things that I find. If there's anything, any of the stores that you saw that you wish I would have picked up, let me know. If you would like to see how I thrifted a dresser and flipped it into a more vintage mid-century modern inspired piece, definitely check out my last video. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you really enjoyed this and I will see you next week.